Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Quick channel update here. I have rewarded myself. I have given a little bit back to myself. I have hit 800 subscribers. Thank you so much. A lot of you guys came from Thunderstruck Gaming. Uh, if you don't know, if you were here before uh, Thunderstruck Gaming, go check that out. It's a fantastic and it's an it's a great idea for a channel, you know, smaller YouTubers get the chance to kind of promote their channel, promote their content, and Thunder gets to have these really intellectually based videos where they're really making it for fun, for their own creativity, for their own inspiration, you know, it's a it's a genuine channel and I really, really like that. It's a, it's a great win-win situation. But anyway, for 800 subscribers, as well as my 50 hour work week that I'm now getting at Chick-fil-A by the way, videos might suffer here and there. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to get videos out on a timely fashion. I have no plans of decreasing videos except for one Minecraft video a week, which is very, very sad, but it's going to be, I'm going to try to do my best. So please forgive me now. However, because of that little bonus I got from work, because of how much money I'm now going to be making from work, and 800 subscribers, I have decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat myself a little bit, and I got a PlayStation 4, as well as the Black Ops 3 bundle of PlayStation 4, as well as the Season Pass for PlayStation 4 Black Ops 3. Now, I was going to buy a PlayStation 4 anyway for Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, and so this is a great way to get me comfortable with the PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, months and months ago, I got the PlayStation 4 scuff controller, so that's really nice, but uh, this is my first impressions, or sort of, I guess. <laughs> first things first, I love the Xbox One controller. The Xbox One controller just, just trumps this controller in every way. My hands are big. I'm a tall guy. I'm a, I have big hands too. And so with the PlayStation controller, it's just so small and fragile. And, and the way the, the button layout is with the two joysticks in the center rather than one in the center, one on, you know, kind of staggered a little bit. Uh, it makes like calling in killstreaks and using the D-pad a little bit awkward for me. I'm sure that'll change with time, but for right now, that's a very, very difficult uh, change to get used to. Secondly, the control sticks themselves just feel a little bit wonky. I know they're a little bit different and you need to get used to them. It could be my sensitivity too, uh, but it's just a little bit weird in the triggers as well. I'm used to the triggers on the Xbox One controller, uh, the scuff controller as well, so that I have my own little, I don't know, muscle memory, and it's just a little bit different on the PlayStation 4 controller. And the buttons, uh, the the select button and the start button are a little bit weird, weirdly placed. You have this big kind of touch screen thing in the center, uh, which is nice. That works as your select button, uh, but it's, it's just a little bit weird. It's a little bit uncomfortable, and it's just really small in my hands, and I feel like I'm going to break it. I feel like it's just ever so fragile and light, and, and it is nice, but I feel like more comfortable with the Xbox one controller. And the scuff, talking about the scuff specifically, uh, it only has two paddles as opposed to the Xbox One's uh, four paddles, which is really, really sad because now I can't uh, reload and switch weapons without taking my finger off of the aiming joystick. Something else I know is as far as like Call of Duty gameplay and stuff, um, there seems to be, I, this is going to be a little bit controversial, but playing both it feels like there's more sticky aim. It feels like there's more auto aim, at least correct auto aim, on the PlayStation 4. Like, I know my aim, right? I've played Call of Duty a long time. I know when I'm on target. I know when I'm not going to be on target. And when I played Black Ops 3 for the first time on the PlayStation 4, I was not on target. I, my aim was not as good as what it was telling me on screen. Like, it feels like th this aim, this auto aim is very, very strong. Now, of course, it's going to start some sort of PlayStation 4 versus Xbox One uh, battles in the comments section. But honestly, that's just that that might be a lag issue. It might be because the servers lag a little bit less on the PlayStation 4. Therefore, the auto aim actually works correctly. And maybe on the Xbox One, the servers are bad so that the lag makes it seem like the auto aim doesn't work as correctly but um pc master race in the end can we all agree upon that but anyway that's kind of the quirks that i found with the playstation controller and the gameplay as far as the actual console itself um 
I really like the Xbox. Um, uh, the layout itself isn't too terrible at all, but as far as just kind of convenience, like the Xbox One is a really good gaming console, but it's a good home entertainment console. Uh, and well, like I can say, you know, Xbox On, and it'll turn on and I can uh, don't have to worry about the television remote I don't ha like as soon as the Xbox turns on it turns on the TV and it gets me logged in it gets me going uh, now of course the PlayStation it can log you in automatically and stuff but I have to find the settings to get the right um get the television on I'm not sure if that's just something I'm missing or if that's even a feature or not it is nice that the controller has a headset port uh, right off the bat you don't need some sort of $30 converter uh, however I do like the Xbox's um, kind of volume control adapter thing it's it's kind of a nice feature in the PlayStation you have to go into your settings and adjust your uh, headset volume manually which is a little bit uh, just clunky as far as graphically, I honestly, I honestly can't tell the difference uh, between Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm sure PlayStation 4 looks a little bit better because it's kind of a little bit more powerful. However, compared to my PC, like, the PC wins no matter what. And I've gotten really, really used to zombies on the PC, so going back to zombies on the PlayStation 4 and just maneuvering around with the sprint button being the left stick clicking in, it's just, it's a little bit weird. I actually kind of prefer the PC now, and it's making me a little sad. But anyway, that's going to be my channel update for you guys today. I got a PlayStation 4. That's kind of my first impressions. That's what I've noticed with it. Uh, I'm going to practice it. I'm going to get used to the little frail controller that I've got in my hands. Uh, and I'm going to try to get better gameplay for you beautiful people. And of course, we will always have uh, DLC 3 coming out either yesterday. I don't know. I have no idea when I'm going to edit this. I have literally no time whatsoever. I work two to close every day. It's absolutely ridiculous of the amount of time that I don't have. So I'm going to try to edit this as quick as I can. Get it up as quick as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for, for, for your support. I would not be at 800 subscribers without you guys. Obviously, you guys are subscribers and there are 800 of you. That's how YouTube works, don't so That's a little lesson in YouTube 101 for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.